We're doing it. We're finally doing it. The closet makeover. I think I've been talking about this for the last like month. Today's the day. We are making over and going through every single thing in my closet. Not only is this like OD, there's this. Um, yeah, so we have to do some editing. I don't wear like a lot of the stuff that's in here because I don't know it's just like not it's not me anymore but it's also like archive pieces I want to keep. With that being said I know like three things off the top of my head I like never wear and probably will never wear but I just can't throw it out. Like not throw it out but I can't I can't donate it or like sell it. And that goes with my shoes too. Um I really don't wear like a lot of these anymore. I don't remember the last time I wore my little Ames. I don't know. I feel like they had their time. And now like if I'm going for like a gray sneaker, I'm wearing my little, my little tabby, tabby grays, or I'm literally wearing my, my silver bonners. There's a lot going on here. All these Yeezys. I don't even remember the last time I, I wore easy in my brain. It's like, they'll never make them again. <sighs> this is making sense to like, at least 1% of you. I just want to do a lot of editing here. I know there's a lot of stuff, accumulated a lot of jackets this season. Like this is new, 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 this is new. And like, I haven't edited out. Most of that is because like, I really do think that like, I'm going to be using this at another time. But when is the question? When am I going to wear this? But we'll go through, this is going to be a long video. Not only is there clothes here, there's clothes behind it. And then there's clothes behind that. And then there's shoe boxes all behind this whole thing. So there's just, there's just a little. So let's sit down. Let's get comfy. I have to find a new home for this PC. I just still don't know if I'm going to be doing, um, like the streaming with this. And then I'll have my other PC just running the stream or like this be my streaming. I don't know. She has to stay here for a little bit, but that is not the editing we're doing today. <laughs> get it. Editing on a computer. <laughs> There's also a lot of summer clothes that like I know I'm not gonna be wearing it's just I keep just in case But then guess what the next season I am literally buying new summer clothes and I feel like my style now Well, I'm about to say this with like me wearing a bright blue shirt, but I feel like it's very minimal <laughs> I categorize it as like Berlin fashion boy streetwear, but also mixing in like classy That that we'll just leave it there. That's it's that I can still do the like silly little tees, but I just don't think that's me anymore. I still have like a bunch of silly little tees that we'll probably get to. So we'll be keeping that in mind. So we'll start out here because I know that this is most of the stuff that I actually do wear on like a week to week basis or that has literally been with like from my laundry. So these I need to keep. They're long black jeans. If you're not following my Instagram, what the heck are you doing? You probably have seen all this this week. We'll play around with the with the angles because I feel like it gets boring very easily. And this is going to be a very long video. Well, for me, I don't know how much you're actually going to see. These diesel bootcut jeans, love them, but they are a little bit too big. But like the way it makes me look literally 500 feet tall. Thank you. Thank you. How many blue jeans do we need? But these I kind of wear like every literally every week just because of the fit of them. Like I we're keeping them. Same with these. I actually tried these on the other day and I was like, do I actually need these? Cause I haven't worn them in a while. They're also another blue jean, vintage denim. So like, obviously the quality is going to be a lot much better. And it's like the Calvin Klein, Calvin Klein jeans. And I like the fit of them. We're keeping them for like a jean that I can probably just throw on and I'm not going to be mad if they get ruined. Cause I also have to remember like, I'm not walking, I'm not walking a runway every day. Um, so we have to be tame sometimes. I know, it's scary, we have to be tame. Next to these jeans, everybody probably is like, give these a literal break because I can't believe I wear these at least twice a week. It's just a good dirty wash denim, I can't, I can't get over it. Another dark wash diesel jean. 
I think I'll keep these as well. We haven't, we haven't saved anything. These I were gonna get rid of, but I wore them the other day and they kind of like did their thing. It's literally just a black jean that has like a contrast on one leg. These are my work trousers. They eat, they go with my style. They make my waist look literally tiny. I don't know why I'm going through this whole pile. These jeans, I kid you not, like every week, they have a chokehold on me because they're like so baggy and they have like that little like, I don't know, like cut and sew action. It's giving like very wide project or like Vetmont, like when they did that Levi's jean collab. Very, very cool. And I'm into like all black clothing right now. So I want to wear all black. Also wear these. Again, they're black, so I'm keeping them. This pant, oh, you thought I wore it in black and I got it in the other color too. You can probably see it a little bit better. There's like the contrast from the like cut and sew and then the bottom pant is literally like cut and like the, the end of the pant is shorter than the rest of the pant. So it's cool. It's cool. I trust me. It's cool. These are just my newer dirty denim. Again, I'm into dirty denim. If I see a piece of dirty denim, like I'm grabbing them. Wow, are we shocked? Another piece of dirty denim. Um, but these are like more cream. And these are my, these are probably one of my favorite jeans. That pile is done. Those jeans are done. We didn't get rid of anything. We'll probably be getting rid of something. And then we get to these. I've had these since high school. They're like a Tommy jean. I used to be obsessed with Tommy. And they're just like a little bit sentimental to me. So they don't fit bad. So this will be in my keep pile as well. Can I get rid of one thing? Bathing suit shorts kind of are giving like Happy 99, those ones that they released like probably a year ago. They're a little tiny on me and the pocket is like, I remember wearing these during camp, during like the camp vlog. There was like a rip somewhere on it and I was like, oh my God, you're gonna see it in the picture and I didn't wear it. Oh, here it is. My pants. These I will be getting rid of. Wow, one singular thing and it's not a jean. These are my, if I'm going to like a wedding or like an actual real people event, I wear these because they make me look like I know what I'm doing and I'll look like a normal person because I can't be dressing like kind of hobo-y all the time. I know when to be a hobo. These are my track pants. I actually don't wear them often. Everyone needs a track pants. These, I might part way with these even though I do like the lining of them on the inside. They're a little just too short for me. Okay, progress for me. We got rid of two things. Two things, great. My car hearts. I was so excited when I found my first pair of car hearts. And these are them. I know, they're actually massive. Um, oh, do I keep these? <laughs> these are my only pairs of car hearts, but they actually do, are just like so massive on me. These shorts, tried them this, this summer didn't work out not a fan i'll figure something out this summer when summer comes around they were like these vintage ll bean ones put you guys over here um not my hunchback of notre dame notre dame notre dame dickies everybody was doing that like open i think i might keep these i think we're gonna do that again this this summer yeah uh, favorite dirty denim jacket go went with that dirty denim pants. Wore it during fashion week last year. Didn't really go anywhere, so maybe we'll actually go somewhere this year and wear it. These purple over-dyed, like, vintage Levi's. I'm- I'm not gonna be wearing these. Well, don't- Um, oh, these were so cool. I used to wear these all the time. They're these vintage, um like real like crazy vintage gap denim only thing with them is like literally wore them so much that this button doesn't even stay in here anymore because it's like ripped um oh you can tell like i haven't worn these because they're literally flattened like look how flat stanley that is ow wow these are a 34 36 the only reason i got them was because they are orange tabs and if you know about orange tabs, which I don't, I just know that they're really old. Also keeping these. We're over her. We're done with her. Goodbye. I don't know. Clothing is like very sentimental to me because they remind me of like things I like did with them. They just bring back like what, like why I wore them. Like these I wore all throughout camping. This like, there's no butt in here and I always had to like buckle it. And the bottoms are actually like 
has holes in it. We're getting rid of them. Goodbye. So one little cubby is done. And I, I think we did okay. Because most of the stuff from the beginning was like stuff I actually use. That doesn't even include the stuff that's like behind here. I need to remember like if I'm not going to use it, we should get rid of it. If I'm not going to use it, we're going to get rid of it. I don't think I need the car hearts. I don't wear them. I'm not going to wear them. They're so big. They make me look ridiculous. This Taz t-shirt. Oh, I remember wearing this during camp too. Oh, so many memories. I'm always in motion. Always in motion. Look at the back. Oh, such a good tea. In the pile, and then we'll figure out like what we're gonna do with the pile afterwards. Like, are we gonna sell it or are we gonna like just donate it? Because there's a lot of stuff that I could probably just bring to Beacons and then like they'll just take it. No, take it, take it, take it. Take it, take it, take it. No, take it, take it, take it. This was my first pair of crazy denim and I like wore these all the time. I'm keeping these for sure. I'll refold all of it after and you guys will see like the aesthetic shot. These are my white pair of denims. You need a white jean if you're doing anything in the summer. Like, wh why don't you have one? Since I got rid of the other cargoes, I'll keep these cargoes. These are also my go-to. I don't know why I don't wear these anymore. I think they're a little bit too big in the waist, but I always like use these little tabs here. I think I can get rid of these. Or should I paint splatter them? No, we're done. We're done with that. Ew. These. These? Yeah. My sister found, and I haven't worn them yet. They're literally a Tommy jean. It says Tommy girl on it, and they're like a kind of like cargo style. I don't think I'm gonna wear these. Oh, these were my modeling jeans when I wanted, well, I still wanna do it, but when I wanted to be a hot, sexy model. I would put these on because the waist is so tiny, it made me look like, like I had the tiniest little waist in the world. And it also has a bell bottom. We're keeping her. I don't think I've actually ever worn these, these blue like dress pants. This can go in that pile of like normal people clothes. Another pair of white denim. Oh, it still has paint on it. From the NYC painting Michael's room. Oh my God, I'm getting emotional. Clothes are such a big piece of like life. These are silver tabs, so we're keeping them. Again, Levi's did like, I'm not here to teach you guys about fashion because I don't even know what I'm talking about, but silver tabs is another older Levi's style. Oh my gosh, the tab has been ripped off. Well, on this one, it should have like, the other one had an orange tag and this one should have a silver tab, hence the silver tab. Wow, are we shocked? Oh my gosh, another pair of just regular light wash jeans. No, this is, this is gone. Oh, this was an era. There are these off-white. These are probably my, these are actually my first pair of like luxury, quote unquote, like a luxury item. I bought these off of Depop. Does it say 2018? I probably bought them 2019. And I wore these like, I thought I was the shit. I got them for such a good price that I didn't care that they were too big. I'll go to my seamstress and get them redone. So they literally took out a whole, like, I don't know what they did. Um, but now they've definitely seen, did you see my hand through it? I think we did well. We, well. This is like the key pile. And then this is like the donation. Second cubby done. Wow. Straddle it. Straddle in. Let's put this, let's put these away really quick. Okay. You bought you eight. <laughs> But like these are, these are all my jeans now. Jacket didn't fit, so I'll probably just hopefully hang this. This section now, just wore this, but it does go with my aesthetic, so I'll probably keep it. This I wear all the time, L.L. Bean. Lamb wool. Yeah, she's itchy. Yeah, she's has like little fluffies all over the place, but it's, an, it's, it's cool. It's cool to have fluffies. I literally wear this as my like lounge shirt, but I'll probably just like give it to Nicole or something. Like I just, I can't, how many hoodies do I need? Just get rid of it. Just, get rid of it. just a regular Gap hoodie. My Balenciaga black hoodie. I love the fit of this and I actually wore it in like, if you're going to be seeing this video next after the thrift vlog. I literally wore this in two, two vlogs ago. It's a work sweater. I'm like lazy. Lazy. Yawning. Sloppy. Lazy. It's probably what you guys are saying in the comments right now. Lazy, boring. Vintage Oakenfort. I love the quality of it. I just wish it didn't have like this humongous letters all over it. I was ordering my regular like morning tea one time and there was a new worker there and I was like, oh, blah, blah, blah. Does your sweater say fart? Yeah. And guess what? Guess who never wore this again? He thought it said fart. 
So thank you for that. I know Red is so in right now, but like, I don't know if this is me. I'll keep it for now. I'll put it in the maybe pile. Essentials hoodie. Am I going to be wearing this? I do have the matching shorts to them, but I'm probably also going to get rid of those too. I'll put them in the giveaway pile or like sell. Oh. Now this, oh, censored. Oh, it's like already censored, but I don't know if like YouTube is going to be weird about it. So I'll, I'll show it for like a second. One of my favorite hoodies, it's just like, can't wear this to work. Can't wear it anywhere that's like not appropriate. Because she's literally naked, and I actually don't know what it says on here. So, that's that's probably an issue. Like, I'll cover her. And, and she has a, she has a, a Gia. I can't even, I'll cover it. This is, imagine me walking around, and I'm like, ch -ch 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 -ch. oh, okay, that's enough. We're keeping her. I think my goal for, like, the hoodie situation and the pants situation, my whole closet, it needs to have a home. Like, if it can't fit in there, I can't have it back to the wall this thing is like literally overheating because either it can't take every single word i'm saying or i've been recording for like 40 minutes already i actually just got this but i don't know how i feel about it already i did like it because it's giving that like been it literally is a vintage hoodie but i feel like i'm not a graphic tee kind of person right now regular green hanes sweatshirt why why am i keeping this oh love this me literally two seconds ago i'm not like a graphics kind of per right yeah but i'm a for this don't tell your mama i'm a oh and guess what this is embarrassing wow and this white hoodie became actually ran through i wore this on halloween well i'll give you guys a, a quick show of what it is Whoosh. didn't have one already in black i needed it in white um i wore it on halloween i remember getting it so dirty like, there's, like, stains all over it. Such an iconic piece. Wow, it's filthy. That, yeah, that. Ew. See, when I was speaking in the beginning of the video, when it was like, oh, I know there's a couple pieces in here, that's one of them, and this is also another piece of them. That I know I'll probably either never wear, but I just can't get rid of it. Wow. Season 6 Kanye and XXX Tentacion. The hype beasts were going crazy for this at the time. I just can't see myself getting rid of it. Oh, wow. Can't get rid of any of these freaking graphic hoodies. This is, I think I got this with you guys. I did. It's in one of the, the thrifting vlogs with Nicole. And then I wore this to the Barbie movie. Insert that here, because I don't think I ever posted that. Vetmont glitter hoodie. Wow. I can't get rid of her. Miss Roa. Yeah, right, if you think I know how to pronounce that. It still gives, like, very, like, soccer boy. Ooh, I'm a soccer player. Ooh, this is very Berlin fashion boy. And I'm not gonna lie, whenever I wear it, I feel like I look fat in it. Like, it does, like, this weird, like, balloon thing. I don't know if you can see it on the bottom. It cinches in the waist, and then it literally gives you a muffin top. Oh, insert another picture. I better not be lazy and actually be inserting those pictures. Ugh. This is just not me anymore. We're into hush fashion right now. Like, shut your mouth, don't show me. Boom, boom. Ooh. Putting up strong. Love this hoodie. I'll wear it. I, don't, I haven't even taken a picture in this yet. I'll wear it. Um, aww. I used to wear this all the time. Shout out Miss Chloe. Somebody that was having a bat mitzvah and did her merch and she could have left this blank and did little like sunflowers. I'll keep it for now. Color. Are we doing color anymore? Amber Combi, definitely from the children's section. Okay, see the vision. This dirty denim and a boot. Groundbreaking. Very like football boy. Come on. Do I even have to say it? Why are we keeping it? Come on. There's a reason why I haven't been wearing this. I think there's like a little bit of a bleach stain here, but it d goes so well with my other, like my tabbies that I can't get rid of it. And it's Eddie Bauer. Let's get the top. Should I do like a cool, like, oh my gosh, like an intro? Um, move, excuse you. Vetmont hoodie. Back then, didn't care about the size. Why do I have a Vetmont hoodie that's already oversized as, with a size, size medium? Actually, back then I probably thought like they weren't oversized. This thing is actually humongous, but I love it. Let's go back over here. Easy keep. It's a brown gap hoodie. 
Um, again, another easy keep. It's a pink Gap hoodie. The Supreme hoodie that has like your breasts out and that literally is like ripped up. I was gonna do, wear this for like Halloween and do like a cool like thing, but never got around to it. So we're not doing that anymore. I have it in three, two other colors. Another essentials hoodie. I think this one has like a stain on it. Yeah, this one has like a literal stain right there. Actually, I'll probably get rid of this one and then I'll keep the other one. Um, so I think we're doing fine. We have all this. I think we're doing fine, yeah. Oh my gosh. <laughs> let's put this away and then we'll figure out like my hat situation because all of those <laughs> I used to wear a lot of hats so yeah this is my hat bin I don't know what else is wow I don't know what else is in here navy fitted wear this all the time so this is a necessity just a literal plain black hat need it this actual dirty chrome hat um we'll be keeping it this is disgusting! A little Von Dutch hat. Don't know if Von Dutch is like coming back, but I think it is. So we'll keep this for another season. Um, I actually didn't get a chance to wear this one yet. It literally says premium diesel. I know it's not from diesel. Um, ugh, I didn't even get to wear this too much this season. It's like a hysteric glamour hat from To Thrift With Ethan, round two. So good. I just don't know if this is me anymore. I have to keep it because it's so iconic and it's a hat so it won't take up enough a lot of space they're like rider studios um with the little horns there's a black one but i got it in a size seven whose head is a size seven? Oh wait it's right here hello size seven yeah whenever i wear this just know my head's hurting i used to wear this like so much like i used to wear it to literally work um and guess what this is not appropriate to wear to work if you're just tuning in and this is like your first video of you watching me. Fake fashion person. If I like it, I buy it. I don't know the name. Um, mispronounced so much stuff. I think this is the same guy that made this hat. I don't know. I liked it, so I bought it. Uh, Sicko. Born from pain. Literally love this. I wear this all the time with that blue Gap hoodie. Um, Harvard hat. Don't need. Aw, a little fishing hat. I'll keep this for camping. Um, Another Sicko hat. I just don't like the way this like fits on my head. We'll keep it still. It's a hat, guys. Calm down. Oh, this heaven. What does it say? Riding school for girls. Literally so funny. Come on. Um, I actually recently just got this fitted. That has like this cool. For all you people that wear fitteds, yeah, this is cool for somebody that doesn't know fashion. Um, I think this is really cool. It's just I feel like this color doesn't go with anything literally still with the tags i think i wore this once and i had the tag in here i just look bald like it's giving bald hi bald it's just i don't have the head shape for it just got a notification that my depop order was delivered while i'm going through decluttering my closet i'm getting more clothes in see this is why i needed to do this come on aesthetic i was in my supreme era and i actually okay this is actually cool and like other brands should do this beanie Regular beanie. Boom. Come on. Face shield in your beanie. Come on. Too good. Fire beanie. I actually like this beanie. I got this at the thrift a while ago. Is it me though right now? Is it me? Yes. This is not me anymore. Box logo. Green beanie. No. Just regular black supreme beanie. I remember when I got... This was probably... I think this was my first ever supreme piece. And I got it, and it has a hole back here. Is this, like, for the girlies that have, like, a ponytail or, like... No, I looked up on, like, the Reddits and stuff, and it's, like... I don't know. It's an error in the clothing. Yale hat? No. Some time ago, there was this trend going on with balaclavas, and, um... I had to get every single color in a balaclava. Um, bandanas. I don't wear these, so I don't need them. Last hat, kiss my bass. Hilarious. And then my little Jack Muse. Actually, that did go well. I know it's, I, it's organized now. It does feel a little lighter. But that could just be my brain. The packages came. Good thing I made some space. Do like a little unboxing, actually. Um, I already know what both of these are. First is 
a belt, full studded, like, it's literally a full studded belt. This one, now this was an impulse purchase because do I need it? No. Do I think it's gonna fit me? I don't know. It's a praying, praying hoodie. You can see like the like kind of crop. Back to, it already looks so much better. Is this angle cool? Whatever. We'll go through uh, this and then we'll go through what's behind it. I'm literally going through every single piece of clothing that I have. It's a lot. It's a lot. That was a lot, Robin. Oh. So, Burberry Trench. It's a need. It's a want. It still has literal bird poop on it because the last time I wore it, supposedly I was having so much good luck. I got sh on by a bird. These are my belts. My diesels, my regular, just brown, my regular black, my Gucci, this black checkerboard shirt. I literally cropped it myself. Um, I'll keep it for now until I get like over it, but it's something that I can wear to work. So with the issue of having like this like super stuffed, I have to like literally double hang some of my stuff. No, I'm not keeping this one because it has a rip in the back of the hood. So we're getting rid of this. I'll wear for this for my Halloween. Um, Brown shirt is a Dolce & Gabbana, um, so I'll save that for like when I'm on a trip or something because it's giving very like beach. This is also like a beach shirt, but this is not, this is not it. So no. Um, I really did like this yellow shirt and it is a cool pop of color, so I'll probably keep it. And it's like a really, really nice thick like cotton. This is also by Rider Studios. I just think it's so big on me, but it has like this cool like clasp thing in the back and it has like this like rope. Um, bomber that I just got from Open for actually really good crop. We're getting rid of this, unfortunately. It's a white denim jacket. I wore this two fashion weeks ago with like a white pant and like my a skin tight white shirt. I don't know what those Vogel stands. They're like the crisscross kind of thing. There's like makeup stains on it, so I don't think this is me anymore. So no. Um. Lacoste shirt, and I know this shirt underneath I actually do like, so I'll keep it. Just wore this flannel in my Instagram picture. I don't think it's... Oh, it'll definitely be up. This is coming out next week. Oaken Fort uh, jacket. Just regular black and white uh, long sleeve, like tight long sleeve. This humongous freaking jacket. Um, again, from Oaken Fort. I haven't even gotten a picture in it yet, but definitely worn it in a video. I don't think I'm going to keep this anymore. It's a just a regular, regular Levi's jacket. There's a reason why I don't wear this. Oh, there's literally stains on it. We don't need it. Just got this cool puffer too. Keeping it because I really like the crop on it and like the, the material is really good. Keeping this, this is my silver tab reversible jacket. This is like a bomber kind of thing and it says silver tab on it. Are you guys sleeping yet? Like you guys definitely are sleeping when you're going through every single piece of my closet. Ed Hardy jacket. Um, I didn't get to wear this and it doesn't look good on me, but I'll probably be selling this one. Oh, the clencher butt cheeks. This was cool for the tree cutting video. I'll be keeping this because it's giving like that mod. And I love like the fading on it. Oh my god, this was definitely not the right hanger to hang this on. Found the best washed brown leather jacket. This black leather jacket where every single day it is real leather, but in the winter, like, I literally only need to wear a hoodie and this on top. Okay, bit my moment. I think, like, the cows don't get cold because it's, like, leather. Like, they're literally leather. So, like, if, like, the wind's coming to them, like, the the leather's, like, holding the warmth in. So, like, that's my brain mentality when I wear this. Like, I'm a cow. So, obviously, we're cutting. This little heaven zip-up. I don't wear it enough. Oh. The screen printing is literally like plastic, like shiny plastic. I literally love this hoodie so much. Maybe I'll do like a red outfit. Like this, a flannel wrapped around my my pants and then the red shirt. Puffers are from, all from Oak. Ugh, I just haven't worn them, but I know it's like an easy outfit. Like, I'll keep this one and this one. My biker jacket. Yeah, this is iconic. We'll go with my aesthetic, like the dirty kind of Berlin boy. I'm an all black outfit with this, easy. This is Vetmont um, 2017. It has like rips all in it. And like, I actually wore this like 4th of July, four or five years ago. I freaking conic. I'll probably wear this for like this 4th of July again. 
Because, like, the red, white, and blue. I have, like, the matching sweatpant. Oh. My Winnie the Pooh XXX Tentacion literally wore this exact same one when he was, um... Mm. Um, but, yeah, I found it on eBay from this old guy selling it. Do we need this anymore? Are we her anymore? Goodbye. Big black puffer jacket. I'm not wearing her anymore. I don't think there's anything. Oh, the little the little ribbons are still in here. The boxes are this. What do you guys do with, like, your shoe boxes? Because I have them all behind, like, this. I don't want to keep the boxes anymore. I think I'm, I'm done. Little eight shirt. Year of the eight. I don't really wear it a lot, but when I do wear it, I, like, get so many compliments on it because, like, mohair is so in. This super vintage Lacoste cardigan i don't know if i'm gonna be keeping this no i'm not we're done oh i love this this little lacoste i think it, it feels like cashmere but i don't know what it is um this winnie the pooh windbreaker keeping this is all my summer stuff so shorts these are just literally like regular black shorts so i'm gonna keep that my little my little strawberries love 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 Supreme swim trunks. Don't know why I was obsessed with Supreme that hard. I'll keep those. These cool ones. No. This jersey in my jer- This is- okay. Hear me out. And like on the boardwalk, this is so like the it thing to wear. Like with a hoodie underneath or like just this with like a t-shirt. Kind of iconic. Also, I don't even know the Celtic. I don't know who this is. But I'm wearing it. Oh, shocker. Another white shirt. Again, another white shirt. Wow. Do, do you see we do we see a trend? These are the shorts from that sweater. So now that I'm not giving it away, I'll keep these. Oh my gosh. It's so weird to see all of this like empty when it's all on the floor. <laughs> or this is like the end of it. I think we got a lot done. That humo This humongous pile is all stuff that I'm going to get rid of. It's kind of late. It's also my thing is about to die. So what? One, two, three, three, go. go. Listen to the slow songs When my feelings way up in the ozone Cause that version of me is long gone